Hi guys, I'm Elle and welcome to my ethical fashion YouTube channel. I'm so excited that you're here. If you've watched my previous videos, you may have realized I am in a new setup, which I'm really excited about. I am constantly moving around and doing random stuff in my life, so don't mind the Hello Kitty and the lamp. This room will slowly start to have more of my personal maximalist style that you guys are kind of used to by now but if you're new here thank you so much for joining i have a huge goodwill outlet haul that i'm not proud of honestly i was not expecting to grab so much stuff from goodwill outlet yesterday but it's the middle of july and i really needed t-shirts and shorts and room goodies so that's really pretty much what I got, except for a couple sweaters. So let's just get right into it. If you know me in real life, you just know I'm really picky with shorts. So I got these Lee Modern Series shorts that are very cute, very cut off at the bottom. They are men's. I just really like the stretch that it has. I am someone that is very self-conscious of how I feel on the waist. So I just really think these will be really comfortable. And if you don't know, Goodwill Outlets only charges per pound. I'll put the prices here, but it's really accessible for those that are not the wealthiest person. So I didn't really spend a lot of money on each piece. It was probably around one or two dollars. So I would definitely consider going to your local Goodwill Outlet if you're tight in a budget and need good stuff for me i didn't really buy a lot of um, summer clothing even though that was intention yesterday to go i did get a lot of sweaters like this one says born to be real not perfect and it's by our season and i really love these like happy features here so right there you can tell the little happy face on the side of the sleeves and i just really like that i think it's going to be a good staple for the winter i'm in the midwest and it's really cold here so summer is honestly going to end in another month so i try to be careful about how much i was grabbing because if i'm only going to wear it for a month like why would i need a lot of them and then i just got this random t-shirt i'm someone that struggles with getting casual clothing i have a lot of fancy clothing so i think this is just going to be a perfect like house shirt it just says i'm all ears and the most weirdest thing happened where i was like oh my gosh it'd be so funny to buy this shirt and then i swore i put it back into the bins because i was like oh it's too cute it's like kiddish for me and then it just ended up in my cart and i didn't realize because the cart was full that at the end i I actually paid for it and so when I was going through my stuff I was like how did I actually get this shirt so Goodwill Outlets does promote a bit of overconsumption if you do have a cart full of stuff and you didn't look through everything meticulously at the end so just make sure you're checking everything that you're paying for because when you check out you like literally grab all your clothing and you dump it on this weighing scale so it kind of is hard to tell what you didn't want if you didn't look through it before the checkout. But again, I got some more sweaters. Um, it's going to get cold in August. It's already July, so I'm just kind of prepping for that. And I had donated all of my clothing in Montana. And Montana is really cold, so I really don't have a lot of good staple pieces. And this is from Wild Fable, so Target, size medium. And I just love how it's cozy. It's a little bit outdated. I don't think the crop style is going to be in anymore, nor do I think the turtleneck style is going to be in anymore. But I actually really like it because this is my favorite color. I think I'm going to wear it for a long time. It's super soft. And I think if I really like it, then I'll most likely wear it. So I, I just know that I'm going to keep this for a bit. And then the goal of summer of buying for summer was not really going well after a certain point because i kept putting sweaters in my cart like this is such a beautiful chunky sweater it's really unique i love all the textures all the little details like this line right here it's a very interesting cut and it's by the brand Pole. it says is it size small but it's really oversized and i think it's just going to be a very unique cool look um but i'm definitely going to be wearing this for the next month to come it's just i really hate summer and i really don't feel motivated to buy for summer even though i literally went to that outlet to find shorts and t-shirts i don't really like summer it's just it's too much sun it's too much heat so again this is my favorite color and i love the cozy vibe it's a very soft texture it's a new balance crew polo 
but it's very big it's extra extra big on me but i just couldn't pass it up and i used to be in love with these in montana but in montana it was like negative 20 negative 30 degrees during the cold time so it's not that extreme in the midwest around chicago but the windy city is definitely going to affect me so i think this will come in handy especially when i'm out and about and i love the little like poach kangaroo thing it has in the front that's such a vibe but usually it makes me feel a bit baggish in the front because i like put stuff in there or put my hands in there and then i got a blanket honestly into the cozy vibes i think it'll go really well with the teal color that i'm going for like my blankets um don't mind hello kitty are this color so i think it'll actually complement it well so the room will be coming together with more maximalism vibe and that blanket's gonna be great for it again i they charged it as like a pound of fabric so they don't charge things usually individually unless it's shoes and bags. And then going back to that teal vibe, I got this sweater. It's a basic one. It doesn't have the label or anything. It honestly looks handmade because there's like obvious stitching in the inside. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a very basic sweater. I honestly don't have sweaters like this. Honestly, I just have like pullover sweaters which is not the best thing to do, but I really need to dress more casually and I think this will be a really go-to piece, especially when I'm really into teal and I just like wanna, you know, wear something more casual and not struggle to be like, oh, what should I be wearing today? I got more long sleeves, can you tell? I struggled with summer clothing shopping, but yeah, just a basic long sleeve. It's by the brand Divided. I mean, I think I did good in terms of like getting stuff that I know I really am going to wear. Going into the shirts that I actually found, it's funny because my mom actually found this sequined shirt and it says fight on it. And it has like a pinup girl on it and it's like really cute um obviously it's like fighting cancer but i mean i like the sentiment of it and that's gonna be an oversized look so i like how it's like giving y2k like cool vibes i don't know it gives cool vibes to me but it gives radical sequined cool girl <laughs> So I'm excited to wear that. And then this, I got like a crop top Levi shirt. That's gray and simple. I actually love this. I think this is gonna be a staple piece. It came with like a $2 sticker on it. So I think they tried to sell this in a garage sale and it didn't work out. But these shirts are so expensive in thrift stores and also in the actual Levi stores. Like I've seen it retail for 40, $50. It's just a basic shirt. It's nothing much really, but it's like, I don't have any of these so I'm really excited to wear them. Honestly I struggle so much because like I've been going out and about shopping in 90 degree weather with long sleeves which is like not the best decision. Like I'm literally rolling them up to like have something to wear. And then this shirt is the Notre Dame college shirt. Um, yeah it's like a basic champion shirt. I just like the color. I love a good old navy color and I like the texture. I hate t-shirts that are too light or like too polyester based and I'm pretty sure this is 100 yeah that's 100% cotton it feels really comfortable and I don't know anything about the university but if you if there's any red flags with Notre Dame let me know and then I got this really dingy shirt it looks like a male shirt but I like the graphic on it I like the oversized vibe it's just it needs to be bleached it's really dirty it's almost yellow there's nothing in the back and the collar is really dirty it's like really fried but I mean, I've seen similar shirts in the thrift store and in normal malls where they're like selling a $60 shirt and it's like literally torn and like intentionally dingy. So I just love this. It's really cute. Um, so definitely going to be wearing that. I love shirts that are boring. <laughs> I'm going to crop this. Is this just like a standard, yeah, gilded gray shirt? I was thinking about giving it to my brother, but I was like, I need this. It's, it's really huge really huge i know that it's a size 2xl so i'm gonna crop this and then just wear it like that and then i got this other shirt it's a training academy sock shirt i'm not a sports person i don't know what this means but i just like the graphic of it and then it says in the behind all men are created equal why settle for equal I don't really know what that means, but I'm gonna crop this. And then I got this other tee. It looks like this. It has this really weird graphic on it. I'm gonna undo the stitching on here and just have it be like this normal sleeved shirt. But I liked how animated the shirt was. So 
I think it's going, to, it's going to be a cool casual piece. And I really have wanted to get more into graphic tees, so I think this is going to be a good start into that. And the brand is Mikos, and it's an extra large, but it does not look like an extra large. It looks like a, a small, to be honest. The last item from the bag is this little thing. It's a silk floral pattern. I really like it to put it in my hair, but I can just like tie this over and like have it in my hair. So I think it's going to be a really great addition. Okay, so that was it for clothing. So I did grab a jacket. This is, it doesn't say the brand, but it's a very vintage brown jacket. Um, I've been saying this a lot on TikTok. It smells old, but I really love the details on it. It's really comfy. It fits me really well. Um, and I think I'm going to wear this for August slash this have September. And then another jacket that I got was this really beautiful teal jacket. It's really dirty. It smells really bad, but I love the color. See that detail? It's so beautiful. I almost didn't grab it just because it was so dirty, but I can always clean it. I can always take it to the dry cleaner. But look at that beautiful gorgeousness. Like I cannot. Is it being captured right now? Like, am I holding it up right? Like, it's so cute. And it's by the brand Hippo Active. And you can just tell it was worn in the 80s. It's just so beautiful. Some of the last items I have is these boots. Again, they're super vintage looking. I got these for like a dollar. They're from the brand Nine West. And in the original Goodwill that they were being sold for, they were $15. They do have some bit of staining they look dirty but they actually had the paper stuffing and the shoe outline thing in it so they haven't been worn there's no use on the soles so yeah they're pretty much new they're eight and a half and i'm size nine so they actually did fit so i'm excited for these um to be paired with the teal jacket i just showed you or for more of a fall look and then some final items so I recently moved into a new place and so I'm gonna put this in a little desk area set up on the wall and then I'm gonna put this on a desk yeah I'm trying to piece together my room I'm still in the process so there's a lot of blank walls there's not a lot of color going on it's, it's kind of stressing me out so if you have any ideas on how to incorporate more of like beige teal and purple vibes in the room let me know. I actually found magical affirmation cards in the Goodwill outlet. So there's a lot of different sections. So there's a clothing section where they like dump clothing in the bins. And then there's like items section. So like household items that are just like compiled together in these huge bins. And you never know what's going to be in there. But I found these affirmation cards that are really beautiful. And it's basically just literally cards that you write on. So you can write on them on the back. And they have like really cute motives on the front so this one says you are brilliant and there's a bunch of them so i'm going to write down all my goals and affirmations on these cards and just read them daily so it literally cost me a dollar and i'm really excited for them i've been looking for something like this because i have i struggle with affirmations kind of low-key forget about them so i think this is just going to be a really great grounding place to flip through all my cards and just remember what I'm working towards. And then I have a couple more items. So this is a wallet that I found. It's like a fake leather wallet with golden details. It was originally sold for $2 in the Goodwill store and then it was given to me for a dollar in the outlet. And it just has a bunch of pockets. It has a place to put money, place to put credit cards and IDs and stuff. And then it has like a little place for change. I just thought it was really cute, really aesthetic. So I like the minimalism and the vintage vibes to it. So I'm definitely going to be using this. And then I have this little belt that I grabbed. I've been seeing this everywhere on TikTok, but it's like this hip belt. I got it for a dollar as well and it was just hidden amongst the clothing bins I just like grabbed it out of random clothing and I was like oh my gosh I love it so I'm excited to pair this with outfits you're gonna be seeing some TikToks if you don't follow my TikTok feel free to follow my TikTok I'm gonna be more active on there especially because I just ordered a new phone again I can actually make content um, my current phone is like so dead and old it can't even like store videos 
Oh, and these are my mom's sandals. I went with her and she was able to find a bunch of like cool sandals. Maybe she found them because she wanted to find them. That's an interesting thought. But I didn't really find anything I liked in terms of sandals and like summer footwear. But maybe I wasn't focused on that. I don't know. And then I found this little cute thing. I got it for a dollar at the Goodwill outlets. It was in the household bin area and I didn't know it was gonna be there. I was like, oh, let me check what's there. And I found this, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is perfect for my dirty clothing. I can just put it in a little aesthetic bin in the corner of my room and it'll be a vibe. And I like how there's stitching detail here, how it's like almost artisanal looking. Um, these are so expensive in normal stores. Look at how big it is. Like that's a big one. To have it be literally a dollar is mind boggling to me. So I'm really excited for these finds. I did not expect to find so many amazing things. I would rate my experience six out of 10 just because I didn't find as much summer clothing that I wanted, but I can just blame myself for that because I wasn't focused on that. A lot of the shirts I grabbed were because someone else was helping me look for them. Um, I was really focused on like the sweaters and the jackets and like autumn vibes. So that was my bad. I, I need to get a little bit more ruthless. Like, I, I would have been so hard to like get rid of the jackets, the sweaters that I found. I felt like I had a need for them and I justify them, but it's just that feeling of like, when am I going to see this piece again at this cheap of a price when you go to the Goodwill outlet? So it's, yeah, easy to overconsume just because of like, what if I actually regret not getting it? What if I don't find this piece again? Like, what if like I do end up needing it? So I think it did decent. It's just like, I wish I already had a closet to not be buying all these things. I wish I had found some more summer clothing, but my experience at the goodwill outlet was overall really great it was just really crowded i needed an espresso coffee and i didn't go get that but th those are just me problems but yeah i found amazing things that i will use for a long long time and i think that's what matters and not being too harsh on myself because i will take care of my things um i will be using the you know room items it's not like I have a million things already, like there's literally blank walls everywhere. So yeah, let me know what you thought of this video and feel free to subscribe if you're interested in ethical fashion content and would love you to be part of my community and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and let me know what you want to see next. Until next time, peace and love. Oh.